Imam Muhammad Baghir, peace be upon him, says, Haris al-A'war asks Imam Hussain, peace be upon him, the meaning of, I swear by the sun and its heat. Surah Shams, verse 1. He, peace be upon him, replied, It refers to the Messenger of Allah Almighty. Then he asked him about the second verse, I swear by the moon while it follows it. He, peace be upon him, said, It refers to Hazrat Amirul Mu'mineen, peace be upon him, who is after the Messenger of Allah. Then he asked him about the third verse, I swear by the day when it manifests itself. He said, It refers to Hazrat Qa'im of Ali Muhammad, who will fill the earth with justice and equality. Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his appearance, the avenger of the blood of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his appearance, will avenge the brutal and tyrannical killing of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him and his companions, while explaining this verse of the Holy Quran. And whoever is killed unjustly, we have indeed given to his heir authority, so he shall not be extravagant in slaying. Surely he is aided. Surah Bani Israel, verse 33. Imam Muhammad Baghir, peace be upon him, says, The oppressed ones are Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, and his successors. When our Qa'im will reappear, he will account for their blood. He will take revenge in such a way that people will say that 
he has gone to the extreme. Going to the extreme means to slay the innocent ones. Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his appearance, is infallible. So there is no question of him shedding the blood of innocent people. This is the opinion of those who think that the killers of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, were present only in Karbala. On the contrary, in the eyes of Islam, even they are culpable who agree with the actions of the tyrants, justify it and then go all out to prove their innocence. In our times too, we find some wretched people who praise Yazid and those involved in the killing of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his appearance to take revenge from all of them. Imam Mahdi, peace be upon him, in the words of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. In ziyarat Ashura, Imam Hussein is referred to as Mansur, the help one. Isa al Khashab inquired from Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, are you the master of affairs? He, peace be upon him, said, I am not the master of affairs, rather, he is the one who will be hidden from the eyes of the people. His dwelling is far away from the human inhabitants. He will be the one to avenge the slaying of his father. His agnomen will be the agnomen of his uncle. The sword will rest on his shoulder for 18 months. The words Tarid and Sharid are synonyms. They are used for the one who has gone far away from the people because they deserted and abandoned him. The people did not value the blessing of Imams, peace be upon him, presence. On the contrary, they dishonored him. They made the killing of his family lawful, used their tongues and pens to oppose him, and did all they could to take his members out of the mines. He'll avenge the killing of his father. This could also mean Imam Hassan Askari, peace be upon him, because he was martyred through poison. And it could also mean Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. Inshallah, we'll see the face of that Imam soon. <laughs>